Hello everyone and welcome back to White Pond Racing. Today we we'll talk about cylinder heads, but not from this side, from this other. We'll that with the combustion chambers and I will deal with the cooling fins. So, the material today is quite a lot. We have a large number of cylinder heads of various types, including flywheel cylinders. It's a video that will require two episodes. There will be a part that will deal with the cooling of the heads, that is, uh, the types of fins, how to change them if necessary, the differences between one and the other. And then we will move on to the cylinders, cylinder fins, and also the air pumping of the flywheels, depending on the fins, the changes that can be made. So here we have a few heads, original Piaggio Vespa 200 rally head and Vespa PX. But now, only because this thing is a bit rare, I will show it to you from the camera side, but in reality the finning, which is the thing that interests us today, is the same. Then we have um, two Malossi heads, which are the same, but one has been worked in a certain way, and I'll tell you why. Then we have a Polini head from 210 to 21, cheap and also very good. And then a Pinasco head of these more recent ones with four holes for the studs plus four additional bolts that couple it to the cylinder to improve sealing um, and it, it also a central spark plug but for this course we we have to um, this is secondary the problem is that the vespa's engine is hair cooled it originally has uh, that that of the 200 which is already an upgrade that doesn't have horsepower and when it's modified, elaborations are made, and even only with other intakes, so 200, 221, a little pushed, you can get very well at 25 horsepower. In these conditions, cooling becomes critical, despite the aluminium cylinder. But the head is always the same. The radiant surface of the head can vary little. Among other things, a problem is given precisely by the shape of the cap, which is made in such a way that when the head is inside we try to put it as it is when everything is mounted since it must match the whole of the fixing of the cup itself uh, this way we are in the position in which the head is more or less now here is the, here's the flywheel the hair is pumped into this channel that ends here and it ends here that is in the end the fins are vertical so they obstruct the passage of air in a lateral direction that is to then exploit what would the hair do according to the designer's idea it passes over the flaps and is blown by this exit however how would the air reach and make the best use of the radiant surface of the side fins? It does little, because there is little space left, so a lot of air passes through the central fins and in the side fins, above all in the part, let's say, towards the Vespa frame. There is little air passage. So, this is a problem. In the meantime, later, we'll see how we can solve it. Now, I'll show you some differences between the heads. We said this is the Piaggio one, this is from the rally, and this is not, but in short, the, the, the head is the same. And then there are the elaboration heads. This is Malossi. It's a good head, certainly better than the Piaggio because it's also slightly heavier. Then there is also a little more aluminium, which is good, because the fact that the uh, thickness uh, of the wall is greater, prevents hot spots, which are uh, terrible since they have the fever self ignition. 
so much so that now, even if I uh, don't have it here, you will all have had the opportunity to see how the heads are made. For example, Parma kit, even VMC is similar. They are rather massive heads, I speak in this case of the 177, and the result is very good, because that additional aluminum, apart from the fins, uh, made better and made so that the hair circulates better but the extra aluminum means that on one side the head has greater thermal inertia and on the other points where there are high temperatures cannot form there are hot spots uh, particularly overheated areas i like the detail this is very important um you will also have seen the split heads, those in two pieces, which have the combustion chamber cut into an internal part, on which the real fitting is then fixed by means of studs. It might seem like it's worse, because um, a good or bad interruption is introduced in the transmission of heat, that is, the heat to reach the uh, fin must be transmitted by contact from the actual head to the fin itself. And there is no better contact than what can happen if the piece is just one, instead if um, it's just a hole. Instead there are still two overlapping pieces, so there are critical points. However, the system is good, for what reason? Because the part that rests in particular is the periphery, so the fins are exploited more to cool the circular crown, essentially the squish area, which is the one where, especially in the part towards the drain, you can determine the self-ignition, which never occurs in the centre of, of the chamber, because it's the point where the turbulence is most effective and is the best washed part also. This is the reason. And that is why the support is on the side. Pay attention to them if they happen to you. So we said this is the Malossi head, and then there was these excursions, and this is the Pauline head. Pauline head, which has the great advantage of having this lower fin, which contributes not a little, especially, especially with the standard bonnet and with the fin above left as it is, because the passage above is what it is, but in any case the air can also touch the lower part. And among other, thing, other, th and among other things, this head lends itself, uh, even better than others, to the assembly of copper fin heat sinks, because the added copper fin does not obstruct the flow of air towards the head. I really like these shims that are, I, I use them, uh, I made them with great satisfaction, tried and tested. They must be mounted with a certain care. When using heads like this, if the space is small, no, this is Malossi's, the Malossi has a carryover on the head. We also have a cylinder, I'll show you. There is this thickness that ensures that there is a space between the head and the cylinder. Therefore, the um, possible uh, copper in the middle finds its space. However, in cylinders where there is no step, you have to be careful, because if the copper fin ends up again, uh, crushed against the wall, uh, pushed against the wall, um, either of the cylinder, either the last fin of the cylinder or the head, it removes air from one of the two. Instead, it's good that the hair can pass through. This Polini head avo avoids this problem, among other things, and this other Pinasco has a central candle. Having, having all these bolts, on one hand it, hold, it holds better, on the other, you understand, the radiant surface is smaller, because where there are additional bolts and screws, the fins are missing. There are pros and cons. Anyway, what to do? An operation that actually has proven effective is the realization of this milling. Now I've done it with flex, first with the grinding disc and then with the abrasive cloth disc. 
in order to ensure that a channel is created in this area that allows the hair that enters its natural path to flow also sideways and then seek vent through this part this path and then touch this side flaps a little better it's clear that this work must be done with great care i mean create the channel yes but remove aluminum in moderation because the larger the channel becomes the more aluminum is removed the less the radiating surface is so you get to a point where there is more damage than gain because the air as the current passes along the path of least resistance and if two large openings are created in the meantime a surface is removed in which the heat exchange can take place and then the air can find an easy escape route especially if you touch the last fin you have to do the job starting the center you can you can take uh, as a reference to start to work the hole of the stud that's located in correspondence more or less to the uh, center of the channel from which the air arrives from this center more and more material is removed gradually and then up to the third or fourth thin and, and then less until you get to the second last the last one is absolutely not to be touched and a little to the second last so now stop as not to create short circuits because if the air comes out without having done its job it will not have removed it and then we will have lost part of the cooling power we have which is very precious by the way other changes that are sometimes made with profit is to increase the opening at this point a little but just slightly which is the area where the hair comes out it can be raised just a little here lowered a little here not much however because if it opens too much then it happens that a part of the hair is lost or in any case it doesn't do its job and it's important that the cap is well adherent sometimes i have seen advice to cut this part behind here shorten this path here never never do this because if you shorten this part the flow detaches from the cylinder which is located at this point you see if you take this part away this one the flow of air that arrives from here escapes in this direction towards the body and doesn't cool the most critical part which is is this towards the exhaust so it's very important that the cap is not deformed and adjusts well to neighboring fins at this point we talked about the head um, the uh, cap of the 200 a hint of well, the problem on the 125 150 is less serious so to speak in the sense that at the same conditions so the engine is a little less powerful the channel is a bit wider so now eventually the fins come and the shape is also made so that the side fins are better lapped by the flow you see In any case, for these thermal groups, as I said before, truly efficient heads are in production, which for the 200 are practically not available, except in the particular case of the Quattrini head, which is radial and has that shape precisely to overcome the problems which I mentioned. So for, the, for this video, we can end it here, and the second part will be dedicated, as I said, to the cylinders and flywheels. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember, White Run Racing is not a workshop, but an amateur sport association that works on engines only for sport purposes and only for its associates.